London Derby Tottenham 1 West Ham 2 Vile game ilianza there was no way I was even seeing West Ham even get a shot on target first 25 minutes clearly au kwa matoka kwa changing room Tottenham were all over them like a rush wali kwa tu wame wakazia wana press high wana they, they're not allowing them to play from the back they're winning the ball in high places and dangerous places Tottenham are in the second game I'm seeing or probably the third game um I'm seeing Tottenham going into half time with a one nil lead and they're being pegged back over and over again inafanyika it's happening a bit too much like this team needs to start realizing that if you don't take your chances uh teams like West Ham opportunist teams they just come and you know <laughs> they score a few they get a few chances they score a few goals and that's it and the, like opportunistic goals like i see at yet they played at wamo wapanga wakaenda wakafunga first of all romero came back there was a bit of solidity in the back you could see they were a bit more comfortable even or even the way they were pressing um and ended up scoring the first goal from a predoporo co- uh, cross from a corner so yeah tottenham started well they, they started really really well they were all over all over west ham west ham they are having their typical david moyes team like what a car too they soak 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 and and then they see what happens team your vibes but they did well to be honest so mfanya vizuri to at least keep it at 1-0 going into half time because tottenham missed chances um son um brennan johnson like just scuffing the ball and bala kuchapa ball vizuri na chapa ground na ball ball na tuna na roll kwa fabianski fabianski mwenye alicheza hata since i think baby at the euro but at zangi ju at real and uche at real alikuwa mumia hii game so this is someone you need to be testing you need to be throwing you know ninis at him the ever the Tottenham midfield needs to start learning how to shoot bisuma um papsa when he came on history ya kuchapa ball kama una lean back of course ball itaenda over as in you're a professional footballer kuna vitu zingine unafaa kuona jua but yeah going into half time one nil that for me was already a big mistake because second half actually 25 minutes west ham side coming back kudus on that right wing kudus was causing problems um yeah then the ball was just whenever it got to kudus that was their outlet they don't have a striker boy is playing as a striker so he's playing like a hybrid like a false nine but kudus is the one who's trying to make everything happen he's taking on two three four players and i think that's the game plan that he's allowed to take them on like you go and take them on if you can manage nisa was for manage pia ni hivyo na even the david mesa mpanga team yake most teams would not have a, a, a game plan like that but he's athletic enough to actually try these things and some of them were coming off you know <laughs> that, that that's the thing that actually ilikuwa meni bamba to anyway so then yeah coming out of half time um bowen scores it was a weird goal cuz kudus just got the ball shot ikachapa deflection mara mbili and then it went to bowen bowen did not make any mistake scoring with off his weaker weaker foot making it 1-1 and at that point Tottenham just did not were not the same. They did not have the same energy. They were still pressing high. That high line of theirs is insane. Kama wewe ni mso waku ni waku enda pale place ya kubet ujue tu kila saa Tottenham over 4.5 offsides. The other team anyway. That's a tip. Yeah. Um yeah, then a few minutes later, uh not a few minutes later like 20 something minutes later um James Ward Prowse gets on the score sheet as well someone who on our WhatsApp uh, voice chat that we had one hour before deadline for this game week was someone we really talked about and said he might have a say in this game simply because of being a set piece threat yeah and the way the, the, the way the game uh, the game script the way it was going ilikwenda kwa tuile Spurs were going to dominate and Tottenham and West Ham had to find a way to capitalize on set pieces. So, we talked about him on set pieces, not necessarily scoring a goal like this, but he ended up scoring. So, yeah. Um again, opportunistic goal, but he took it well. He did not nini make a mistake. Actually, it was more Vicario's mistake that led to this goal. But yeah, he took his goal and at that point it was just Tottenham just now clutching at straws. Richarlison aliingia kapata chance kali header headed it wide. Apparently Richarlison has scored has never scored a goal with his feet for Tottenham. He missed a sitter, sit over header that would have made it 2-2. Um yeah, then after that it was just trying to close out the game which West Ham did quite well. Um a bit of a scary moment up at the end when Katsuma alikuwa kwa wall alafu kangonga mkono at 94th minute wakaenda VR wakasema it's not a handball so a bit of a scary moment there but in typical western in typical david moyes version 
you just soak 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 pressure and then just hit once twice two one nivo tufunge duka mapema and Tottenham need to start learning from these mistakes and not taking their chances because they are conceding really dumb goals that's number one and they're creating a lot of chances but they're not finishing so it's just a recipe for disaster and it's sort of reminding me of it's like come and give me arsenal in a luton if arsenal were not taking their chances and we are letting luton come into play and raya just giving them goals i feel like we'd basically be in this same position the only thing is i the way we play now is not ganho we're not just going ahead and putting a high line like you know come out like the like cow tottenham do it so but for tottenham they don't have a plan b that's their plan a and that's their only plan so things have to work to the t <laughs> come on you could get chances unazimaliza and you don't create you don't give the op- the opposition uh, chances you don't make mistakes that creates chances for them to score so yeah um very good win for west ham west ham have now moved up to ninth in the league or tottenham stay in fifth just ahead of man united and below man city and yeah that is how game week uh 15 game week 15 ends in the premier league with a win for west ham in the london north london london derby eh maze new singizi wasi nisameni peace